Hi, in this session I'll show you how to create a weighted average or how to calculate some weighted averages with some examples. Now according to Wikipedia, the a weighted average or in their case a weighted arithmetic, arithmetic mean is where some of the data points contribute more than others. So basically what it's also saying is it's an average where some values contribute more than others. So mean and average basically mean the same thing. Uh, there's some slight differentiation if you ask the statistician, but for our purposes, we're going to say it's the same. So let's go into examples of how we would calculate a weighted average. Let's go into grades. Let's say, for example, we have a course and there are different tests and quizzes and those quizzes and tests have different weights. Let's say these, the quizzes have lower weights, 10%, 10%, and the test have larger weights. This first test 30%, the second test 20%, and third test 30%. Now if we're going to use percentages, uh, it is probably advisable that they all equal up to 100% here, and that's probably a good rule of thumb. And in order to calculate the weighted score, what we need to do is we need to multiply the test score times the percentage weight, which gives us this value. So it's B2, if I click on here, you can see B2 times C2. You copy that all down, and here what we do is we would sum it all up. So if we just click on the auto sum, it will automatically pick it up, press control, press enter, and then we have 83.3. So that's telling us that the average score is 83.3. If we just did a, a score here and we didn't put a weight on it, you can see that the average is 82.2. Not too far away, but uh, if we wanted to give weights to each of the items, this is how it would be done. Now we can also do this with one function and instead of creating um, a column here where we sum it all up, basically we can use a sum product to do that. And the sum product, we just have type sum equals sum product. I'm just going to tab that to increase it. And the first array is this one. So it's going to take this array and then I'm going to go ahead and get this array right here and then close the parentheses and just press enter. So it's going to be giving me 83.3. So this function is basically doing the work of multiplying these two values and summing it all up. So basically it's taking B2 times C2, sum it, B3 times B C3, and then sum it. And that's where you get this 83.3. So you can see it's the same value here, but it's just a shortcut way of doing it. So some product will do this, uh, this weighted score uh, calculation. Now let's go into our sec second example we have this grade 2 where maybe we don't have percentages of weights but we're giving it a numerical weight. So in this case it doesn't really have to add up to 100% because there is no concept of percentage here. So what we would need to do is we would have to multiply the test score times the weight. So this has a higher weight. Uh, let's say for example 1 is a lower weight and five, uh, 3 is a higher weight. And so from that range what we would need to do is to still do the same thing as we multiply it out and we would sum it here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and auto sum here, press enter, and we get that value. But here in this case we would need to sum the weights up. So if we sum that up, and go ahead and sum that up here, we would get this value of 10. And what would I need to do here is just divide 833 by 10. So just equal that divided by 10. And you can see it's the same thing here. We have 83.3. So you can see here we have these values which really correspond when you think about it, they really score correspond here. 10, 10%, 30%, 10%, 20%, 30%, right here. So this corresponds here. But what, what if we decide to give a weight of higher weights to the first and last? So we give this a value of four, and this a value of four. This is the instance where we are not giving a percentage weight. So what we're doing here now is giving some kind of numerical weight. It doesn't really need to add up to 100% because there's no concept of percentage here. And so what we need to do is just divide uh, that weighted score divided by the sum of the weights. Now you can also do the same thing here. So what we need to do with sum product here is equal sum product, tab it to just complete it. And what it'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and pick out the test scores as the first array and then it's going to multiply the range of the weights and I'm going to close parentheses here and now in now here I'm going to have to divide it by the sum of the weights so I'm going to go ahead and type sum and then open parentheses and select this range 
close parentheses and press enter and you'll see now it has the same value here so these this is an example where we have the sum product also providing the same kind of calculations um, as this here where we don't have to create a weighted score column so you can do the same thing but with a shortcut with the sum product function so let's go into another example like let's say oranges let's say we have a shipment of oranges and we're looking at what is the average cost of our shipments uh, maybe the first case maybe we're giving it getting it from different uh, vendors and we're looking to see what is our average cost so if we try to do an average cost and just select these three values we see that the average is 2333 but that's not really an accurate estimate of an average because we're having this case 40 cases at $20 20 cases at $10, 10 cases at $40. So there's a variation in the cases. So that's not really giving us a true accurate cost because we're only dividing by three here. We should actually weight, weight the, um, the uh, cost here. So what we're doing here now is we're doing the same thing that we did earlier, but this is just applying it in a different situation or a different example, right? So we have 40 cases times the cost of 20. It's going to give us 800. And the same here for the other one, the second shipment, and the third shipment here. And so what we need to do is we need to sum that up. Go ahead and click Auto Sum, press Enter. And the same here, now we're looking at the cases. So we're going to go ahead and sum that up to press Enter. And in, our, in this example, we're going to equal uh, 1,400 divided by 70. So that's going to give us our average cost now, which is $20, not the 2333. This reflects more more accurate uh, average uh, because it's weighted between the different uh, cases, case vo case volumes here. Now we can also do the sum product as I mentioned earlier. Uh, sum product will actually take care of this. If I do sum product and look at the array here, this times the cost, right, and then close parentheses and divided it by the sum of the cases. So it's SUM, open parentheses, and just sum up these cases, close parentheses, press enter, and now we have the same value here. So that's the way, that's an, another example, and instead of grades, now we're talking about items. Now let's go to our fourth example, let's say salary. Now here in our fourth example, we're going to cover salary. Let's say, for example, we have five employees here. We wanted to know what is the average hourly salary for these employees. Now we notice that for the first four employees, they worked uh, double-digit uh, hours. But for the last employee, Sally, she only worked two hours, but she got $100 per hour. So if we did an average of just the salary here divided by five, we would get an average of $40. But that wouldn't really reflect the average hourly salary of all the workers in aggregate because Sally only worked two hours where the rest they had a higher weight. They worked a regular work part-time or full-time or even overtime kind of hours and that was more uh, common within our workforce. So what we need to do is we need to do a weighted average here. So what we need to do is um, multiply the hourly salary times the hours worked for each worker and sum that up here. I'll go ahead and auto sum it here press enter and we also need to sum up the hours worked so I'm going to auto sum that and here we're going to do the dividing so we're going to say equal 4400 divided by 167 to select those two cells and we have our 2635 so similar in our other example we can also use the sum product function to put it all into one cell to create this whole calculation into one cell so what I need to do is put equal some product, press tab to complete that. We have our hourly salary as one array. We have our hours worked as the other array, the other array, and what's going to do the multiplication and addition to the end where we get 4400. And then I'm going to divide that by the sum, open parentheses, sum of the hours worked. All right, and press enter, and we're going to have our 2635. So that's why we use a sum product to basically do the same thing here where we have our column and our divisors here. So let's go to a last example. Let's say we want to do some comparison shopping and we're trying to buy some cameras or something like that. And there's three attributes that we're looking at, style, function, and cost. And for style, we're going to give that only a 20% rate. And function, we want all the gadgets that are available on that particular all the features that are available on that camera to be some high-tech 
features. And the cost, we're not really too concerned with cost either. Uh, this has to be equal to 100%. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rate the cameras here. Let's say I have a Sony and Canon. I'm going to give it a 1 to 10 rating. And so let's say, you know, for style, I'll give Sony an, an 8, function a 6, cost a 2, and for a Canon, 10, 4, and 4 here, respectively for style, function, and cost. So what I'm going to do with the weight here now is I'm going to multiply that rating times that 20%. And this function rating times 60%, you can see that this calls C8 times B2 here. And similar here, 2, two times the C9 times B3, which is the cost 20%. I'm going to do the same thing here for the Canon, where we have the weight. This times uh, the style here, the style value there. And also for function and cost. Now what I need to do is just go ahead and sum this up. I'll just go ahead and press the auto sum. You can also press the alt equal sign and it's going to perform the same function as summing up and it's going to try to guess where the values are. So but I'm just going to use the command feature here in the ribbon. Press enter. And now we have 5.6. So a total weighted a total weight of 5.6. We're going to do the same here. We're just going to go ahead and sum it and we have a value of 5.2. So this is based on a large part on, on the functions. See functions, the Sony has a lot more function. We're giving a lot more function to that. This has a 4. Even though this is high on 10, the, the style has only got 20%. To, um, we're only giving a weight of 20%, even though the Sony is pretty high on 8. So this is a, a way that we can think about using uh, a weighted average to help us make do some comparison shopping based on some attributes. So there are our examples of uh, how to use a weighted average uh, from grades to oranges, buying oranges or getting oranges, to salary, to some comparison shopping. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.